YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Southern Cal. I am one half of that No Gloves podcast. Shout out to my co-host Nine Million Mills. Real quick before we get into this video, I need y'all to please smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell so you will be among the first to be notified when we drop our latest YouTube content. Let's get into it. One of the million dollar questions about this whole PDD situation is uh, has or well, has been will he ever go down for the Tupac murder? Do I personally feel like P. Diddy has something to do with the Tupac murder? Yeah, I feel that way. Yeah, I think I think he did. Um, I think that P. Diddy put the hit out on Tupac, you know, because as we've heard recently, according to a rapper of the game, he put out a hit on Drake in in uh in LA. And so, and then he also said in on Black Rob's song that, you know, you, you F with me, I'll put a million dollars on your head and I'll kill your whole, I'll I erase your whole family. So, you know, so this shows that he is very capable of putting a hit on somebody. So I do feel that, yes, he did put the hit on Tupac uh, because of the whole thing that was going on with the whole East Coast, West Coast, the whole death row bad boy beef at the time, which was a nasty beef at that time. And, you know, he wanted to make sure he was good when he went out to, to the West Coast, when he went out to L.A. So um, I don't think that Keefe D was lying about that. I think that Keefe D was definitely telling the truth. You know, when he said that him and P. Diddy, they was at a show in Anaheim. And P. Diddy asked him, you know, about Tupac and Suge. And he was saying that, you know, hey, I'll give you a million dollars to take them out. And um, Keefe D agreed to it. And so, you know, that night in Vegas, when all that stuff went down, I don't think they had planned on taking Tupac out that night. But, you know, but the whole thing happened with the, the whole beatdown of, you know, of Orlando Anderson when they when they put hands and feet on him that night. And, you know, they had to get retaliation. And so, and with that, you know, this was the perfect time, according to, as according to um, Von Zip, this was, this was the perfect time. And uh, the person who I believe to have taken Tupac out was Orlando Anderson, of course. Uh, I don't think it had anything to do with no conspiracy, had anything to do with no government, no nothing. You know, I feel like, you know, yes, it was Orlando Anderson who took him out. And, um... You know, so yeah, it went, went, went from there. They called Diddy, you know, or Diddy called, or Diddy made a phone call and asked, was that, was that them? And Keefe D said, yeah, that was us. And um, he sent a $500,000 check because they only got one person. They didn't, they didn't kill both of them. They only killed Pac. They didn't kill Shug. So he sent a $500,000 check to uh, Keefe D by way of Zip, but Zip took the money for himself. He pocketed that money and um, used that money for other things. You know, uh, probably I think it was to, to start the to start him a club, to start a nightclub, because uh, Zip had a nightclub called Zip Code. So uh, and so, and that's what that was. Um, now. <clears throat> I feel that in order for for Diddy to be charged for that for the murder of Tupac, I think that you have to one have you have to have more witnesses than Keefe D, um, and also as well too you would have to have somebody to find that check. Um, there are different people who have came out and confirmed that yes, Diddy did send a check of five hundred thousand dollars. Um, people like uh, Gene Deal, people like T.K. Kirkland, and um, they confirm that. So, um, but nobody has come up on that check. I think I believe that check may be long gone. Um, and you have to have more witnesses than just Keefe D. You know, uh, I think if you get more witnesses than Keefe D, and somebody actually finds that check, you know, of five hundred thousand dollars, I think, and I think you know, you'll have something there. I think Diddy will actually. Um, 
you know, be charged for the murder of Tupac. But until then, I don't think that they would ever be charged for the murder of Tupac, you know, uh, for putting the hit on Tupac. Um, I think you have to have a, you know, you, you have to have that type of evidence. You have to have more witnesses to come forward in order to make the case a solid one. And um, they don't have a solid case on that. And I, I don't think they ever will have a solid case on that. So that will always be just, you know, that will always be a question in the back of our minds of, you know, hey, will he ever be charged for the murder of Tupac? Will he ever be charged? Will he ever be charged? And I don't think he'll ever be charged. Um, so we know that, you know, this was a bit of rivalry back then with the whole East Coast, West Coast. And I think, you know, but even though I think the media hyped it up to make it way more than what it really was. Um, but it was a, but you know, it was a bit of rivalry. It was, you know, people lost their lives behind it. Um, people from both sides, you know, uh, especially the death row side, you know, lost their lives behind that type, that, that whole beef and all that. So, yeah, I think that, um, yeah, I think that Diddy, you know, by Diddy sitting in jail now, I don't think he'll ever get out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I think that, you know, the, the, the loyal Tupac fans can have some type of uh, closure. Uh, I think uh, Tupac's family can have some type of closure with this, knowing that being that he's locked up, but I'm pretty sure that they will have even more closure uh, knowing that, you know, he was charged for the murder of Tupac. Um, but um, but with him sitting in jail now, and I feel like he's going to rot. I feel like I feel like Diddy's going to rot in jail. I feel like he would never see the light of day again. Um, he offered them fifty million dollars, you know, twice. He offered them fifty million dollars to uh, to uh, to grant bail, you know, but they told him no, and they told him no twice. So. Um, because they don't want the money. They let they let him know that we don't want your money. You know, your money can't get you out of this one. We don't we don't want your money. No, we want you. And that's exactly what they got. So, like I said in the last blog, man, when the feds is on you, when the when when the feds are on you, the feds do not miss. They have a not they have a ninety eight they have a ninety eight percent conviction rate. The feds do not miss. The feds are not playing. The feds don't play, man. So when they have something on you, they will sit and watch you for years um, until, you know, before they before they come in on you. And like I said, I knew that when they raided Diddy's house, um, I knew that I knew they had something on him then. I knew that it was going to be over with it. It was just a matter of time before Diddy was locked up and behind bars, you know, when the when when the feds raided his 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 homes. So, um, and you know, he even offered, he even offered, he offered them $50 million and he even offered to wear an ankle monitor and he said that he would have no females. He offered, he even offered to have no females around in the house, no females around, no contact with females at all. Um, but notice he, notice he only said females and he didn't say males. And I think that's what, you know what I'm saying? He was trying to get off on, you know, to myself. So if they would have actually granted him bail, he could have sat back and be like, yeah, I told him females. I ain't say males. You know what I'm talking about? Because we all know that Diddy, you know what I'm saying? Diddy, Diddy, uh, he swings to both sides. You know what I'm saying? Um, he been swinging to both sides for years. So, um, so that's just, I, so I, so I don't feel, so bottom line is I don't feel that he'll ever be, um, convicted or charged, uh, or even charged for the Tupac, to, for, for the murder of Tupac. I don't feel that he ever will be. Uh, would I like for him to be charged for the murder of Tupac? Yes. Um, would I like for him to be, you know, would I like for him to, uh, to, to do time for the murder of Tupac? Yes. Um, because, you know, he's very capable of putting, of putting people's, of putting, uh, prices on people's heads, you know? So, uh, but those are, those are my thoughts. Go off in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about this whole situation. Um, do you agree? Do you agree that you feel that, you know, he would, he would never be, uh, you know, tried or prosecuted for the murder of Tupac? Or do you feel like someday he will be prosecuted for the murder of Tupac? Um, do you feel like, you know, do you feel like he, um, he's going to get out of jail or do you feel like he'll never see the light of day again in there? Um, let me know what you guys think and, um, 
And yeah, we'll and we'll discuss that the next time. So until then, this is your boy Southern Cal. If you like what we're doing, you like what we're doing with this podcast, please, please, please check out our podcast. You know what I'm saying? We got the No Gloves podcast going. And uh, we really want you, we, we, we're really looking for more listeners. We're really looking for more subscribers. Um, you know, we just had Bounty Tank on the show. Uh, shout out to Bounty Tank. And now we're getting ready to interview um, the, the, the writer and director of the movie, The Marriage Pass. I'm not sure if you guys have seen The Marriage Pass, but if you guys have seen um, The Marriage Pass on Tubi, uh, if you haven't seen that movie, please check it out. It's a great movie. Um, it's on Tubi. It's called The Marriage Pass. And it was written and directed by Brianna Cole. So we get ready to interview her this weekend. So um, that's going to be amazing. I can't wait for that. And um, so, but the Bounty Tank interview is up now on our channel, on this channel right here. So please just scroll down a few videos and go and check it out, man. And uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do me a favor and subscribe. You know what I'm talking about? And also, if you like what you, you see, you like what, what, what I do, you like what we do on this podcast, you know, uh, please feel free to bless the cash app. You hear what I'm saying? So, uh, with that being said, it's your boy Southern Cal signing off. Till next time, we gone.